We've all seen photos of rainforests destroyed, rivers littered with plastic, news of wildfires and species going extinct. Biodiversity loss may not be happening at our doorstep, but it should hit close to home. Everything on our planet, including us, is interconnected and interdependent. Biodiversity is like a delicate set of bricks or Jenga tower. The more bricks and the more connections between them, the stronger the tower. But when one piece falls, the whole structure can come crashing down. Here's why you should care about biodiversity loss, no matter where you are in the world. What exactly is biodiversity? Here's a clue. We often call it something else, nature. We tend to think of nature as forests, oceans, rivers, and mountains, but it's more than that. Nature is the incredible variety of all life on Earth, plants and animals. The iconic panda, or redwood tree, microorganisms in our soil, fish in our rivers, corals in our seas. All these species and the spaces they call home make up biodiversity. Losing healthy habitats means losing access to clean air, water, fertile soils, and many other natural resources essential to our survival, livelihoods, and well-being. It also means losing our greatest allies against the climate crisis. Forests, oceans, grasslands, and wetlands absorb greenhouse gases from the atmosphere, while mangroves and coral reefs act as natural defenses against floods and hurricanes. Falling plant and animal populations impacts us too. But it can be harder to see how. Let's start small, literally. We're talking genes. Different combinations of genes cause small variations in appearance, build and behavior even among members of the same species. Characteristics that can prove beneficial as environments change and new challenges emerge. But as populations drop, so does gene diversity, making species like those we depend on for food and agriculture less adaptable to stresses such as diseases, pests, droughts and climate change. And when we lose any species, it can spell disaster for countless others. Here's an example. Tiny yet mighty. Bees and other insects play a giant role in creating healthy ecosystems. If we lose insects, we don't only lose our pollinators. We'd lose the birds that feed on them and keep the pests that harm crops and habitats under control. But this domino effect doesn't end on land. Life and water is affected as birds help fertilize coral reefs and other marine ecosystems through nutrients in their droppings. Ecosystems that nourish the fish that over 3 billion people rely on for food and an essential source of protein. But enough of theory. Here's the truth. Right now, we are losing biodiversity at an alarming and unprecedented rate. Half a million insect species are threatened with extinction. The average population sizes of wildlife have dropped by 68% since 1970. We've already destroyed half of the world's corals and lose forest areas the size of 27 football fields every minute. These aren't just sad statistics. These are sirens. Signs that we need urgent action from communities, businesses, governments, world leaders, and each and every one of us to transform our broken relationship with nature. We are, and always will be, part of the equation. So now, let's be part of the solution.